So, today I am going to introduce the topic about infinite infinities. Georg Cantor, well, he came up with the continuum hypothesis, which shows that there is a countable infinity, and there are uncountable fin infinities, where one infinity can be larger than another one, and you can keep making bigger and bigger infinities. And this can all be uh, demonstrated through Hilbert's Hotel, and that will take a while to explain as well, so I will put a link in the description, so if you would like to read that, that may, might make more sense. But for now, I will just briefly explain where the idea of infinities comes from. You can add to, multiply, or even square infinity, and it will still have the same cardinality or the same amount of stuff. How do you get a bigger infinity? You have to make infinity the power. So to get this, you do 2 to the Aleph whatever. I believe Aleph is the first letter in the Hebrew alphabet, and that comes from Cantor having a Jewish mom. Aleph no, or Aleph zero, is considered the countable infinity, which can be represented by integers like 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. And the uncountable infinity, which is Aleph 1, is it can be represented by the real numbers. You can fit the integers into Hilbert's hotel perfectly fine with one-to-one -one correspondence. And with the real numbers, you can't have that because of Cantor's diagonalization method. That shows that any list of numbers that you have, any list of real numbers that go on forever, you take the first one and the first digit and make it different. And then you take the second one and the second digit second digit, and make it different. And you do that in a diagonal and you'll come up with a new real number. That shows that there are indeed a lot more real numbers than integers. And John Green kind of used this, but when he uses it in the quote from Hazel, it says, now, I know he tried to touch on the fact that there are infinite infinities, but he kind of got it wrong. He didn't use the fact that there are more real numbers than integers, but the fact that there are more, there are an infinite amount of real numbers between one and 0 and 1 and 0 and 2, and he's suggesting that each of those is adding on to the infinities, but from H Hilbert's Hotel, we can see that adding infinity to infinity does not change the cardinality. So John Green is slightly wrong in that aspect, so I'm sorry to crush that part of the book for you. But there are infinite infinities, he just kind of worded it incorrectly. I may have gotten something wrong, but I'm pretty sure that what I've stated in this video is true. So I would like to end this video now and hopefully it's under four minutes and I will see Kyle tomorrow.